at any institution that hires him, mm-hmm. a lot of people are going to feel a way about that. Maybe not want to send their kids there, right? Well, if it's college, you got you got to think that. And if it's a pro, sure. you got to think some of the pro players, you know, when you've been exposed to a degree, it's going to be – it's just it's just very difficult, you know. If, if you remember, if you remember when all this went down, the first thing I said, I said, he – this is these players in this locker room ain't having that. Right. They just not. I don't care if you got one or two people saying how great he is or whatever the case is. There's 53 active players, coaches, okay, along with that, front office executives, trainers. I mean, it's just a lot of people that have to buy in to what you say. You got to be a uniter. You can't be a yeah. divider. So no. Jay, so Key and I have weighed in. We have not heard from you on this. Yeah. So this, uh, what you heard. <laughs> from him is page two out out of the redemption handbook, right? Um, Page one talks about disappearing, letting time settle some of the chaos that is surrounding your name, right? He's done that. He's disappeared. Uh, Step two is, from the redemption redemption handbook, is sounding remorseful. Now, you did a great job of breaking down what he should have said, but you know what, Max? Nobody really cares what he should have said. The headline is he feels ashamed. And we live in a society in which people only read headlines. And key, this is this is where I feel very passionately about this. When you talked about the institution, we're talking about the institution of football. Nobody cares. I care. You care. I wouldn't let my son play for a guy like John Gruden. But the institution of football always rewards winning. And we have a hard time remembering what happened yesterday as time passes by more and more. Why would you give him a job if it rewards winning? He hasn't well, won. Max, he won one well, Super Bowl true. with someone yeah, else. Well, well, Max, Max. That's, actually, that's actually true, too, Agreed. Max, but that's different. You're make, and, but that yeah, makes sense, different. Max. We act like yeah. we live in a world that makes sense. We act like we live in a world surrounded by reasonable people. We have people that say and do crazy things and get rewarded for doing crazy things all the time. Because at the end of the day, if you know how to win on the football field, you will be rewarded sooner or later. Somebody will give you a chance. Now, I'm not saying that John Gruden doesn't deserve a chance. He wouldn't have a chance with my kids, and I hope that us as a culture start to value things that are important to us, but we live in a double standard society, man. Yeah, we do all day, every day. This is a little bit different, though. Key, I hear you. We we, we will always give somebody a second chance that have, you know, stubbed their toe, whatever the case may be, and could coach, could play. We, that, that's that's what that's why America's so great. You, you know, it's a land of opportunity. But I think in this situation, it's a little bit much. And the reason I say this, Jay, is because you can't win without us. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna win with no, without no blacks on your team. Period. Can without no do, do you high think, character people I, I, on your team. I understand. Do you You're think not gonna there win. will this never be... This is ni- do, 1922. Do you think there will never be another black player that John Gruden will coach? Because I would disagree with that. I think I, there I, will look, be. I, I personally think, depending on where I, he winds up... If, let's, let's just say college. Yeah. If he winds up in college, it is going to be extremely hard... Now, he could go somewhere and inherit some dudes already on the team. But to go into a locker room, I mean, into a home right. on a recruiting trail and try and go up against Nick Saban, Lane Kiffin, Lincoln Riley, and a host of others, mm-hmm. do you not for once think that in that home they're not going to point out the dirty email. Understood. I think I think it depends. They're going to plant that I, seed. I, I mean, I, I will say it's because I've had a lot of conversations with people older than me, and it's been interesting to hear there from all parts of the country, from some people. Not saying they justify everything, but there's a, a slight element of understanding when they say, "Well, you know, back in the day, we used to talk that way." But not see, about back not about day. not about black people, not about Michelin tires or things of that sort. Not some of those things. But like they, and I'm not saying that's not right for me, but people would justify it slightly by saying they used to talk that way. Look, and it if, might, if, if someone had come out and said that Jay, stuff about, but Jay, that was then. Not I understand, now. but Key, I understand this now. now. But the way the way that conversation could be framed, Key, also by him, 
the fact that it was just his stuff or Dennis Allen that came out, not an entire culture or if it were me, if let's say he had come out and, and he was going after Jewish people in the thing, if, if he did that and then said, listen, the way I grew up or sometimes I get angry and I just curse everybody out and I got to deal with that. Like there's something in me. I get it, but I don't want to be that way. And, and the fact that it comes out in that way when I don't know it's going to be public, you know, I got to look at that. But but I'm just telling you, it's not it's, it's I guess it's in me when I get mad and everything. But that's not really who I am. I'm not a person who just walks around mad all the time. And 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 I don't really feel that way about people. And I am ashamed that it comes out when I'm mad. You know, like if he even did said something like that, then I'd say, OK, at least he's now taking the first step yeah. toward accountability. That's step one. Mm-hmm. You got to be and and. and you know, or or even worse, he's like, yeah, man, I, obviously that's in me. I got to deal with that. Like, I don't want it to be. Yeah, I you know, agree right? with you. It, I agree just, with you. He it's has look, not done that. He hasn't done no that. Matter, so, no matter how he apologizes or tries to get a second opportunity and chance, this world is totally different than 20 years ago. It just, it, it, and I understand old cancer culture. I don't care about that. I'm mm-hmm. talking about what's in front of us and what we see. And when you're talking about young men and women in institutions across America that look for guidance from positive head coaches, you can't possibly tell me very that as a president of a university in an athletic department that you're going to roll that out and think that that's okay and you're going to be able to compete at the highest level. Now, I didn't say he couldn't go to Western Kentucky or Central Arkansas. I'm looking at the height of his career in the power five schools, in the okay. big right. schools so, that make yeah. sense for John Gruden, yeah. not some junior college. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.